All right, we are, me and Dennis are heading out. Let's see if we can't put uh, some fur down. We got everything here. We got, got the Wicked Light, got the MFK Edition Fox Pro Shockwave. Got, uh, obviously Dennis's XA40 is running. I got my XA30 here. Got, uh, we got Tacticams. Tacticams. We got lots of Tacticams. Yeah. Uh, got the new Fox Pro backpack. Got the MFK Edition X2S inside here. You can never have enough calls. So it's cold. Batteries are going to die. So we're taking everything. All right, well, what we're gonna try to do is we are gonna try to get one stand in in a daylight. Uh, actually, two years in a row. I got the one, yeah. the spot that we're gonna go. The next year I missed them. But hopefully this year there's no missing. Tacticam, that's gonna go on the gun when we get down there. That should be it. We're ready to hit the road, put some fur down. We'll see you guys out in the stand. All right, well, we got to our first spot. And right now it looks like we have a heavy north wind, but it's shifting north, northwest, which is, if it stays north, we should be okay. But what we're gonna do, we're going to take advantage of a box blind down here, give us a little bit of elevation, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can pull something out of this thicket down here. It's, it's a big, almost a heart-shaped thicket, and uh, it borders right up into a bunch of pines, and there's a creek down at the bottom. So hopefully something comes out of here, we can get a shot at it. set up in my office here, in my office chair. We got the, we got the X2S set up right over here to our left. We got the wind coming out of the north. We got this big thicket down below us. Hardwoods off to our right and then a big patch of pines down there. And that runs right down into the, right down into the creek bed. Um, I've had quite a bit of luck down here in this spot. Pretty much only hunt it one time a year, and that's for the for the Aristes fox and coyote hunt, which is what we're doing right now. Um, wind's supposed to die down tonight, down to about eight mile an hour, 16 to 20, with gusts 25 this morning. It was horrible, but I made one stand with no luck at all. Hopefully tonight changes. So. We're just gonna sit here for a little bit and then uh, probably start calling in about 10 minutes or so. Where'd it go?
coming this way. We're calling cats and canines in. Yeah. I said, well? Huh? Called that bobcat in now. <laughs> Canines. <laughs> Just not the kind you can shoot. Uh -huh. Alright, well. The first stand, the uh, only thing we called in was a, a cat and a dog. Neither of what we could shoot, though. <laughs> so. We're gonna go, we're gonna pack everything up, we're gonna go try a different spot. And hopefully that spot pans out a little bit better than what we've seen so far, so we'll see you guys at the next spot. So we're at spot number two. We uh we came down to this spot because uh David got a picture of a big red fox on one of our reveal cell cameras down here as we were uh leaving spot number one, so we're gonna head down. We have got a killer food plot at the bottom of this hill. We're gonna try and make it to that food plot and set up there. So we'll see you down there. up nothing 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 doing here so we're picking the call up and we're heading back to the truck figure out maybe I'm gonna do maybe one more spot with David and I might call it a night 
he's probably gonna hunt the rest of the night a little bit more so we'll see you back in the truck we are at spot number three this is our farm we're gonna head down here to the edge of our woods on the back and uh, kind of set up there where David killed one a couple weeks ago so we're gonna go get all set up and we'll see you when we get there some good eating we don't have a good wind, but we're going to give it a try anyway. I don't know. He was right by the opening. All right, guys, well, we just got back to the truck. We called it a night on the farm. We did have a set of eyes coming down the tree line. We didn't get them on camera, but he was, they were coming pretty good. And uh, seemed like the wind shifted and he kind of ducked into the tree line and we never saw him. So, well, he had them coming. Yeah, the wind's shifting all freaking night though. Yeah, it's been swirling the whole night no matter where we're at, so. But, uh, alright guys, well, I'm gonna call it a night. David's gonna keep hunting. Uh, he's gonna have the Tacticam rolling for most of the night, and if he gets something, he'll pull the main camera and that out and share it with you. But, thanks for following us along. We did three, three different sits tonight, and I'm gonna head home, and then uh, we'll meet back up again tomorrow night. But, uh, he's heading back out, so. Uh, Alright guys, we'll see you next time.